Howdy cowdies, weekly walkabout time at the collector. Been bloody busy again. Got more nice stuff to get through. Silver spoons, Swarovski hedgehogs, more little Swarovski aminals. Really like the little wind up tin toy sort of galloping giraffe. Really nice little sort of toilet jars over the back with the um, Gillishay enamel silver tops. It's a lovely paperweight from the Victorian Albert Museum. Some Murano glass bangles. Really nice sort of rhinestone jewellery. Lovely little booklet um, produced by Peter's Ice Cream. Story of the Boundless Universe and All Its Wondrous Worlds. Really nice little book. It's in great condition. More nice sort of glitzy costume jewellery. Postcards, pearls, other stuff. Nice little bits in the jewellery cabinet this week, guys. What else have we got? Nice big trunk. I know it's pretty dark. But we'll try our best. Nice big trunk. Big armchair with the ottoman. Big sort of office chair is pretty cool with the big rolly backs on it. We'll put it with a little stool. Sort of marble top Franco Cozzo table. That's my jar of Maltesers. They are not for sale. And Mark says they won't be there tomorrow, but that's his right because they'll be coming home with me tonight. <laughs> Buttons and so on, patches and stuff. It's a nice little Victorian popular guessing game. Little sort of game set. Little miniature TV off to the right there with a nice little camera. Sort of eastern big heavy sort of bangles and stuff. This is a nice little flute in a case. There's some nice little bits of Australian pottery. There's more of that stuff I'll show you later on. What else have we got? Some nice picture frames. They're all modern but they sort of look the part. Group lot of prints and stuff here. Got all ladies and men's clothing. Pair of Doc Martin sort of heeled boots there. What else have we got? Some power tools. Big Sony stereo system. Uh, records, really nice mink fur coat. And this we've got boxes of stuff, oodles and noodles, trophies and magazines on how to shoot. What else? Boxes of EP and S looks like some nice stuff in amongst there. This is all sort of gaming and sort of computer type stuff, video gear, pottery, some cool retro -y stuff in that box. Great little Sanyo twin cassette deck. What else have we got? Good box of records, there's good sort of motor car books, this is a box full of die casts. There you go, and a few of these little mats that you can put out on the floor to drive your cars around on. And that's we've got picture frames and some bedside cupboards. Ladies accessories and bags and stuff, I know it's bloody dark. Big group like kids books and gear. Some footy stuff, Richmond jumper and some other gear in amongst it. Big bag of diving stuff, you can see the weight belt in front there. This we've got a cool little mix lot. I like this plastic swan with the flowers. With lamps and other stuff. Cool little 70s sort of wall plaque there as well. And else have we got? Olivetti typewriter's pretty cool. Big outdoor bench with the seats is actually alright as well. Another nice big trunk. Put with the spotlight and some other little bits as well. A little metal sort of industrial filing drawers. And else have got cool big bench, this, the whole tabletop. You've got paper shredders and CDs and car stereos and 70s light fittings and stuff as well. Sort of big group, lot of sort of householdy, sort of gardeny stuff down the bottom. Cricket gear, kids toys and stuff, little nursery lamps. Cool little retro stools and some cartel tables. What else have we got? There's gear down the back, bowling balls, heaps of hand tools. What else? I really like this orange painted cabinet. I kind of got a thing for painted, stupid coloured furniture. I kind of like that. A uh, good little Morant stereo system there. What else? Tools, books, Karcher sprayer and some bloody lawn edger. Good box of DVDs and games. Good box of sort of, these little record boxes are cool. Some CDs, a couple of good bits of stereo gear, nice Pioneer amp. Jerry cans, sort of more tools and sort of blokey stuff. What else have we got? Slide projectors, books, reference books, shelf of kids books, coloured glassware, some Japanese sort of lacquerware, EP and S and mixed items. This is a nice little watercolour. It's cool sort of fan cards of movie stars, two big boxes of costume, a little um, sampling machine. Pelham Puppet Witch, she is absolutely fantastic. I really like 
fuck. <laughs> what else? Ah, oh, shit. A pram. There you go. Massive, big 19 sort of 50s, 60s English made pram. More lacquerware, big lot of pottery. Brassware, old Barbie stuff. Magazines, books, ephemera. The Three Stooges. Hey, Harpo. I oh, know, it's not the Three Stooges, it's the Marx Brothers, isn't it? Harpo. <laughs> kind of like this big oak filing cabinet. Little cutlery drawer, which is all sort of full of cutlery. Camperwood chest, really like the stereogram actually. It's a ripper, big 1970s teak cabinet. Really nice sort of slim line shape and design. Nice little deco mirror and a nice little deco reading lamp. Which is quite nice. A little sort of Tiffany style lamp there. Nice big mahogany veneer uh, dining table. What else have we got? Some good pictures this week actually. Uh, nice little Herbert Clark Simpson watercolour. Pretty typical. A little British school thing. It's about 1820, give or take. Really nice watercolour of a little shepherd boy. This is a nice... Alano cut, Sonia, uh, forgotten her name. Uh, it's an homage to Cyril Power, done in 2016. I think Cyril Power did the same sort of image in about 1930. This is a lovely Stephanie Taylor watercolour. Um, I think it was exhibited at the Art Gallery in New South Wales. There's a nice little label on the back. Australia's 150th anniversary celebrations, all Australian art exhibition, um, January to April 1938. There you go. So this painting was part of that exhibition. It was 20 guineas to buy it. Really nice thing. Watercolour painted on linen, mounted on silk. Really nice thing. Original frame, original mount and everything. Beautiful bit. I like this. Little Barbara McManus. Nice little pastel. Looks like a little sort of eastern archway or something like that. Morocco or somewhere. Arno Roger Ganersh. Lovely nude. Conti. I think he won the Archibald Prize a few times. Nice thing. Some other pictures I'll show you in a minute, but that'll do. A uh, mixed group, a lot of English and other sort of ceramics. Scales with their pan and weights. Clock and some other bits and bobs. Yeah, the Mexican sombrero. What else? There you go, it's the big box of, what is it? Gem, isn't it? Gem and the holograms. Gem and the holograms. They're sort of like, I reckon these were, gonna, I think Hasbro made these before Barbie, but Barbie caught wind of it and ended up doing Barbie and the Rockers. There you go. And that's some of the Barbie and the Rocker stuff up there. And I think they ended up getting their stuff out on the market first, which sort of killed the gem stuff a little bit. But anyway, interesting to see what each of the lots sell for this week. What else have we got? A samovar. Some glass. Lovely little Harrison Fisher print. Uh, what else? What else? These are interesting. Little charcoal drawings. This one looks like Stalin. And it's got down the bottom here, Gold Star RDS, Royal Drawing Society. Some other portraits of ladies as well. They're really well done, but they're unsigned. Records. Bit of Paul Lukakis. More Australian stuff. Shantuzzi said some other good gear in there. Rock and roll, ZZ Top, Meatloaf, and some Alice Cooper and stuff. Cool little lot with the stocking dolls and a little sort of bottle opener cigarette lighter. What else we got? Cameras. Smurfland made to measure chart. Another good lot of records. A lot of blokey gear. Glass, fantastic, a lot of Pulp Fiction books, Atomic Death, they've all got great covers and stuff on them. Some diecast box, Coca-Cola bottle phone, little Italian chess players are good. And else they've got Big Buck Rogers movie poster, Vox guitar amp, big stack of Mad magazines, heaps of Australian ones. Uh, posters, big lots of big bits of pottery, more nice scales, records, 1930s English China. This is a good group, a lot of mix sort of ceramics, Australian, English and Japanese. Uh, a couple of paintings by Lisa Curry. Uh, more nice bits of art glass, this is all Victorian porcelain. Another nice collection of art glass, Scandinavian, Italian. 1930s little part set, butterfly specimens in their case. And some butterfly wing pictures. What else have we got? More lacquerware, ladies accessories. This is a nice little Livingston guitar amp with a good little Yamaha Strat copy, humbucker and a couple of single coils. Nice HO scale train, some good records. Good little Godden's book. All the Australian post diecasts. These are nice. Little nursery lamp and one of the 
Almost said one of the Stooges. <laughs> uh, a little lithograph of Liverpool from, uh, what is it, Lime Street? English China. Nice little watercolour of an Aboriginal girl there, signed Nan. This is a lovely book over the back four, Fabulous Faces, featuring movie stars, I think Greta Garbo and some other people. Um, big bit of a Japanese glass. These are pretty cool little Japanese dishes featuring Tama the Cat in London and in New York. Copperware or brassware. Nice little Japanese tea set there. 1930s English. Nice little Monkeys of Melbourne dish with another bit of Oz pottery. Ericsson snake phone. A lot of retro anodized. Italian gondolas. Isabel cups. Roba. Another nice anodized bit. Big Diana Luster vase over the back there of the bird. And some nice stuff down in the end cabinet as well. Inter Empire Trade Magazine. There you go. It's a publication devoted to the survey and exposition of Australia's wealth and resources. Got really cool plates and stuff throughout it. Some really nice little capital theatre programs as well. A really nice little pottery lamp. A couple of nice little oil paintings there. Little naive circa 1900 ones. Really pretty little cup and saucer. Nice and early. It's a lovely book over the back of the Four Seasons Victorian with big chromolithograph lift-out plates of summer, spring, winter, and the other one. It's a fantastic movie poster, this. I know I'm talking shit, but this thing's cool as... Wanted Dead or Alive. Steve McQueen, also known as Tom Horn. What is it? Try to catch him in a theatre near you. A really cool thing. A little sort of day bill or a little funny little lobby card poster or something. What else? These little books are nice. Got some great colour plates again throughout. Carnival glass, Bennett's, Guy Boyd, Murano, walking wear. Great little sort of German tin toy gramophone. Majolica cabinet plates, pair of Harry Mehmet's feet. Could be worse, could be have a pair of Harry Mehmet's something else. What else? Alt, nice little Australian Aboriginal bit, the little Shuko uh, monkey. Lovely pair of Victorian hand-painted vases. This is my favourite bit, and it's the What's It Worth this week, the big Guy Boyd planter with the Arr Pirate. Funnily enough, his buccaneers are on his bucking head. Phil Dunn, Picton Hopkins. This is an interesting bit over the back of the bowl there, signed with initials DB and dated 96. A couple of nice little bits of Wembley wear. And a nice little bit, little Aboriginal vase there as well. This stuff is all signed and dated on the base, or it's just all signed and marked. It's just hard to figure out who made it. But very good quality. Anyway, guys, that's it. That'll do. Another good sale this week. Hopefully we'll see you on Thursday night. But you know I don't really care if we do or if we don't. <laughs>